Okay, I'll try to show some of what my auto-completion script can do for TechWorks and I'll do that by making a, a small uh, example document and first of all the, this I will show that the script can complete known commands I can start writing doc for the document class invoke the script and see it fills in the, the remaining part of the of the argument or the command name and I can fill in the rest. If I want to use a, a certain package, I can start with a use package and then a list of um, some often used packages with the options are added, for instance the hyperref package or the input encoding. So um, I'll just try to use uh, the graphics uh, Uh, package like this. Okay, then we can try to start a, a standard document with a begin document and a end document. And inside that we want to, to place a, a section, for instance. I can it could have a name like beginning section and when we want to point to that, uh, it could be handy to insert a label. And often you want to have the label depend on both the command uh, that is used to generate the, the headline and also the content of the headline. So if the auto-completion script in, is invoked in this location, it will generate a, a label uh, formatted as a sec because it's a shortcut for a section and then um, a camel cased version of the original headline where um, uh, spaces have been removed and uh, initial letter of uh, new words have been capital capitalized. So this is one example of how we can generate a label. So, um, and when we have the labels in a docu open document, we can also reference to them and the completer knows that only reference or labels should be referenced. So we can do this. We are now in section, then write ref, and then just fill in the first few letters of the label you want to point to, and then <coughs> invoke the, the script, which will give uh, one of the, the possible suggestions. If there are multiple, then you will be able to cycle through them. Uh, we'll just make an example of that. Subsection. Again, we create a, a label and uh, two sections. Uh, if we just invoke the script at this stage, there are two labels that can uh, be fit. One the last one starts with an S and then follows on with a uh, sec ending and the first one with EC uh, beginning section. So invoking the script it will suggest the first one of these and then when we s invoke it once more it will suggest the other one. If we repeat it it will just skip through these two. Okay. We could also be interested in inserting a figure. So begin fig, that's a, a shortcut for a figure. We could in fact invoke it using just uh, begin f and then uh, control m for invoking the, the script. In this case it will search through uh, a list of templates and find the first that matches and insert that suggestion. And if I invoke it once more it will try to, to f insert the next match that are present. That would be a begin frame from the, the Beamer package. Then I can cycle through these different uh, cases. Um, so using this with a few character characters I'm able to, to insert the whole code for uh, an entire figure. In addition, if I want to um, include files using include graphics or include or input. Um, it is possible to use auto-completion on the file names. 
I can invoke the script uh, here. It might be good if you can actually see the subdirectory. The file I'm working with, uh, the empty file here, is placed inside this directory. It's actually lying over here, where we have a subdirectory containing two images, image and image2. After um, having completed the first subdir, we need to manually add um, the directory spacer, uh, the slash character in this case, and then we can uh, go through the list of available pictures inside this list. For instance, if we want to insert image 2, we will just leave it here. Then we can add caption uh, like this. And again, we can have a suggestion for the label for this figure, also uh, suggested by the script. So I think we are almost through now. Um, I need to, to show two more things. If you have a nested environment, that could be begin uh, table, then begin tabula like this, the script is able to automatically close the open environments uh, like this. Okay, I'll just make it a bit clearer. We first delete it, then when the script is uh, invoked, it will search up from this location. The first unclosed environment it encounters is tabula, so that it will insert and afterwards it is in this position and the first unclosed environment it uh, gets to is a uh, begin table which is uh, finalizes with an end table here so um, two things more to show I'll try to open the citations file which uh, is in the, the standard bibtech format where we have an article and a, a name or a, a reference to a specific uh, party article, uh, Abu Sina 2008 in, in this case. And if we go further down, we have one from Aiken Hit 2003, and so on. Uh, there is a lot of different things. As um, the completion script only searches for for open files, we need to open the bibtech file at first. Then we can say site, and then just uh, take one of the first names, and then it knows it has to search inside the bibtech file. <coughs> then we can just list through the entire list of available references. Uh, if I want to cite Ostrand, um, then I just write a, a bit more of it, his name, and then it will fill in the, the only remaining suggestion here. Then I can final finalize it. <coughs> and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. One more thing, if you have a, a long name or a long word that you uh, often need to write in a text, um, the script can uh, help you with that. If you just fill in some of the early uh, or the first few characters in that text and invoke it, it will try to, to fill in the suggestion which uh, matches words in the open documents. Uh, so in this case there will be two uh, suggestions, then it will first fill in all the possible suggestions have in common that would be the co-motive um, in this case and the on or on would be one of the possible suggestions and the other would be uh, ve and then you can switch through these two until the, the one you actually want to use is present so that was a short demonstration of the auto-completion script and I hope you would uh, comment on it and make suggestions for what could be, <coughs> be good to implement in it.